If you have a Word document and you want to turn it into a PDF but you don't have Acrobat, here's what you can do. You can see here I've typed up the basis of what I want my PDF to be. We're going to have a name, address, and I might want a bit more room there for the address. I'm going to ask them for their sex, male, female or other, and their favourite colour. Now, this might be a bit too close here, so what I would recommend is that you make your paragraph spacing about 12 point. And we're going to add some fields to this, but first of all we need it to be an a PDF document. Now because I own Acrobat, I've got an Acrobat menu here in Word. You mightn't have that. There are free tools that allow us to do that. So let's save this. And now if we close that, one of those tools we can use is called PDF Candy. What PDF Candy has is a whole range of PDF related tools and one of those tools is Word to PDF. You can see here it's pretty straightforward. Add a file. There's the file I'm going to add. And when it's done converting that to a PDF, I can download the file. And you can see there it's downloaded it. Now, that's the end of PDF Candy. There's another thing now that I'm going to use called PDF Escape. And what PDF Escape does is it allows me to take PDFs that I've made, the one from PDF Candy, and add fields to them. So I'm going to use the free online PDF editor. I'll upload a PDF. I'll drop the PDF Escape one we just created from the Word document. And there it is there loading. Now this name field, we don't want to add text. If I add text, it's it's not what I want. It, that's for a, a paragraph or something like that on the page. I want a field. And the field I want is a text field. So let's have a text field. And there's that text field where I would type my name. Because I've got the text field button selected, I can just click on the page and add another field. And that's where I'm going to put my address. Now, male, female and other, I don't want that to be a text field. I want that to be, let's say, a checkbox. And we'll say, you can put a checkbox there. and there. What it doesn't do is line things up nicely for you, but it's a free tool. And there. You can see I've made that one a little bit too small compared to the others, and I'm just checking, clicking in the middle to take away that, that checkbox. I can use cursor keys on my keyboard to align those and my favourite colour. Let's say my favourite colour is going to be from a drop-down list. And so, when in doubt, right-click. The properties, I'm going to make this, I'll just put three colours, red, blue and green. And when I click OK, what it doesn't do well is, you know, if I had choose from this list or something, it doesn't do that well. Anyway, I'm finished. There's my PDF with the fields I want. This is the export, save and download. Click that, and you can see there it's just downloaded. And when I open that, there's my PDF. It's got a place for my name, my address. I can choose one of these now because it's a checkbox I can choose two of them but I could have chosen radio buttons and the favorite color is from the drop down